Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting question from Math Olympiads. Here x and y belongs to real positive numbers. Given equation is x cube plus y cube plus x plus y whole cube plus 30xy equal to 2000. Then it is said to find out x plus y value. So let's get started by writing one algebraic identity first. I will write a cube plus b cube formula. We can write this is equal to a plus b whole cube minus 3ab times a plus b. This is what we know. Let's apply in this problem. So I can write here x cube plus y cube x plus y whole cube minus 3xy x plus y. Now we have x plus y whole cube plus 30xy. So x plus y whole cube plus 30xy. Let's write 2000 in LHS minus 2000 equal to 0. Now I will write 2 times x plus y whole cube from these two terms. Then I can write minus 2000, the last term. Then we have minus 3xy, x plus y plus 30 times xy equal to 0. Now from first two terms, I can take two common. Let's take two common. So in bracket we will get x plus y whole cube minus 1000. Then we can write minus 3x square y if we will expand it minus 3xy square plus 30xy equal to 0. Now this 1000 I can write 10 cube. So I will write our equation as 2 times x plus y whole cube minus 10 cube. Then we will be writing minus 3x square y minus 3xy square plus 30xy equal to 0. Now I can use here a cube minus b cube identity. So if I will write formula a cube minus b cube equal to then this is a minus b times a square plus ab plus b square. Let's use this formula here. So I will write 2 times x plus y minus 10. This is a minus b. a is x plus y, b is 10. In other bracket, we will write a square. So x plus y whole square plus ab. So plus 10 times x plus y plus b square. So I can write plus 10 square or 100. Now we have three terms. I will take minus 3xy common. So minus 3xy is common. In bracket we will be getting x plus y minus 10. Now you can see if I will take x plus y minus 10 common from both the terms then we will get let me write here x plus y minus 10 common out. Then we can write in other bracket 2 times x plus y whole square plus 2 times 10. So I am writing 20x plus y plus 2 times 100. 
so I will be writing 200. Then minus 3xy equal to 0. Now we have to simplify our brackets and we can apply zero product rule. Let me write this equation here. Here it is. Now you can see we have to expand x plus y whole square. Let me write x plus y minus 10 times 2 times I will write x square plus 2xy plus y square plus 20 times x plus y 20x plus 20y then we have 200 then we have minus 3xy equal to 0 or we can write x plus y minus 10 times let's expand 2x square plus 2 times 2xy so 4xy plus 2y square plus 20x plus 20y plus 200 minus 3 times xy equal to 0. Now you can see plus 4xy and minus 3xy. So is, this will give us xy only. x plus y minus 10 times 2x square plus 2y square plus xy plus 20x plus 20y plus 200 equal to 0. Now we will use product 0 rule. So we can write from here. So we can write product rule as if a times b is equal to 0 then either a equal to 0 or we will consider b equal to 0. Let's use so I will write either x plus y minus 10 equal to 0 or I will write 2x square plus 2y square plus xy plus 20x plus 20y plus 200 equal to 0. Now condition on x and y this was positive real number. So you can see once we are adding all positive real numbers in one side we won't get RHS 0. So from this equation there will be no solution. No real solution we can write. So we will get solution from first equation only x plus y minus 10 equal to 0. So I will write x plus y minus 10 equal to 0. So x plus y will be equal to 10 and this is our required expression. So I can write my answer would be 10. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck.